All of us want to keep our kids and communities safe and healthy. An important step is to learn about preventing substance use disorders. And to understand that the adolescent brain is more vulnerable to alcohol and drugs than the adult brain. The earlier someone starts using substances, the greater their chances of developing a substance use disorder. 90% of those who have a substance use disorder started using drugs and alcohol before they turned 18. 90%. So what does this mean? Prevention is about delaying the onset of first use or pushing it back as long as possible. Whether alcohol, tobacco, or marijuana, the most commonly used substances among teens. Protecting the brain during this period of development is an important part of prevention. The adolescent brain is rapidly developing, learning and changing all the time. It can learn a language or a musical instrument more quickly than an adult brain, but it can also be harmed more easily. The brain continues to develop until a person is in their early to mid-twenties. With the regions of the brain that keep emotions and impulses under control and help us make decisions among the last to develop. This is also why adolescents are more likely to engage in risky and impulsive behaviors, such as trying drugs and alcohol in the first place. Early use of alcohol or drugs can disrupt brain development in ways that increase a person's risk of developing an addiction later in life. Other factors that put an adolescent at risk besides the age of first use include caregiver substance misuse, trauma, and a lack of social attachments. These are called individual factors. And they're part of the big three in preventing addiction, along with environmental and genetic factors. Environmental factors include high drug availability, a lack of laws and enforcement, and social norms. And then there are genetic factors, which research suggests accounts for about half of a person's likelihood of developing a substance use disorder. While we can't change our genetics, knowing about a family history of addiction can help empower us to make different decisions about our substance use. For every risk factor, there is a protective factor to counterbalance it. Prevention focuses on strengthening the protective factors that we can control to decrease the likelihood that a person or a community will struggle with addiction. Together, we can solve this. Join us.